Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at angles formed by intersecting chords. So we have the problem, chords A, B, and C, D intersect at E in the interior of circle O. If the measure of angle B, E, C equals 64 degrees and the measure of arc A, D equals 50 degrees, we need to find the measure of arc C, B. So the first thing we could do is label all the information that was given to us. That is, we know that the measure of angle B, E, C equals 64 degrees and we also know that the measure of arc AD equals 50 degrees so now we need to use this information to find the measure of arc CB so what we want to focus on is the following theorem when we have two chords intersecting inside of a circle and we're targeting this angle here denoted by X we need to focus on the two arcs that are intercepted by these intersecting chords. That is, if we're targeting X, we're going to be focusing on arc AD, and we're focusing on arc CB. And we could set up the following equation. We have that X equals the measure of arc AD plus the measure of arc CB divided by 2. So we could use this equation to find the measure of arc CB. So what we want to do now is we're setting up we have angle or the measure of angle BEC equals and now we have the measure of arc AD plus the measure of arc CB divided by 2. So now all we need to do is substitute for the two pieces of information that was given to us. That is, we know that the measure of angle BEC is equal to 64 degrees. So we could replace this piece here with 64 degrees. And now we could set this equal to the measure of arc AD is equal to 50 degrees. So now we have plus the measure of arc CB divided by 2. So now to solve for the measure of arc CB, all we need to do now is cross multiply. So we could call this 64 degrees divided by 1, and now we have 2 times 64 degrees, that's 128 degrees, equals, and now we have 1 times 50 plus the measure of arc CB, but 1 is the identity element of multiplication, so we could just rewrite this expression here, and we have 50 degrees plus the measure of arc CB. So now to solve for the measure of arc CB, we'll just rewrite this equation over here. We have 128 degrees equals 50 degrees plus the measure of arc CB. We just need to subtract 50 from both sides of this equation. So then now we have our answer, 50 degrees minus 50 degrees will cancel. We just got to put these units of measurement, they are important. So this gives us... 128 degrees minus 50 degrees gives us 78 degrees. So 78 degrees is equal to the measure of arc CB. So now we could just label this on the circle diagram that we have here. The measure of arc CB is equal to 78 degrees. So just remember, just to recap, the way we want to make use of this theorem, we were given the measure of angle BEC. In some sense, we do know that the measure of angle AED is also 64 degrees because these two are vertical angles. So the two arcs that are sectioned off were arc AD and arc BC. That's why when we set up this equation, we said the measure of angle BEC was equal to the sum of these two arcs, AD and CB, divided by 2. And we arrived at our answer, the measure of arc CB is 78 degrees. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on angles formed by intersecting chords. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.